Okay, so finally, Apple has just officially released iOS 18.2 RC. The release candidate for iOS 18.2 is now available to register developers. Now, iOS 18.2 does bring quite a bit of improvements and new features for non-Apple intelligent devices as well as Apple intelligent devices. There's a second round of batch of features coming with iOS 18.2 for Apple intelligent devices such as Genmoji, Image Playground, we have the Visual Intelligence, Intelligence, chat GBT support. I'll have an entire coverage on iOS 18.2 here in the next couple of days once it is officially available to the general public. Now, as we jump into settings in general about and then we go into the iOS version, take a look at that. Right there it is, the latest build number for iOS 18.2. RC. Now, when can we expect the official software release to the general public? We'll talk about that here in just a couple of seconds because keep in mind, aside from iOS 18.2 RC, Apple also released an update for iPads. So, iPad OS 18.2 RC is available for iPad OS. Now, iPad OS 17.7.3 is also available in form of RC for iPads running iOS 17. Mac OS 15.2 RC is now available as of today for the Mac. TV OS 18.2 RC is available for the Apple TV. Vision OS 2.2 RC is available for the Vision Pro. And of course, Watch OS 11.2 RC is now available for the Apple Watch. And we've been waiting for this RC for quite some time now, and it is finally here. So in terms of new changes, there's one thing that I do want to mention, and that is that Apple has added one additional state here in the US for the digital wallet. Now, this is not pertaining directly to iOS 18.2 RC, but I wanted to mention this as we go into the wallet here. Click on the plus icon. If we go into the driver's license section right here, you see that Apple has added a brand new New Mexico for the digital wallets on your iPhone. So if you live in this state, you can now add the digital wallet right there for your ID on your iPhone. And Apple continues to add new states. This has been a long drown out process, but I guess Apple needs to work with local government agencies in order to get this one approved. Now, iOS 18.2 also lets you use natural language to search through Apple Music and Apple TV. So you no longer need to remember the name of a song or a TV show. You can use a quick description using natural language and Apple Music or Apple TV will give you suggestions based on your description, which is a nice welcome change to be able to use natural language within Apple Music for search and Apple TV. Now, for those of you that may not know, iOS 18.2 also expands on the AirPods Pro second generation hearing test feature available in the US and now available in more countries. Nine new countries have been added with iOS 18.2. Some of the countries include France, Italy, Romania, Spain, and many more. So hopefully, Apple continues to roll out this feature for AirPods Pro second generation in the months to come to more countries. So with all that being said, when can we expect iOS 18.2 to be officially released to the general public. Well, if history is an indication, and fun fact, iOS 18.2 RC was released exactly one year from the release of iOS 17.2 RC. So if we go here, you see that I tweeted a year ago in regards to iOS 17.2 RC, you see right there, one year ago on December 5th, Apple released 17.2 RC. After the release of 17.2 RC last year, the following Monday, we saw the official software for 17.2. So if history was to repeat itself, it looks like iOS 18.2 will be officially available on Monday, December the 9th. That is when Apple will most likely release this major software update coming to iPhones, iPads, macOS, watchOS, tvOS, and by the way, even HomePod OS also got the latest update 18.2 for the HomePod. So there you guys have it. Just a quick update on some of the latest beta releases. iOS 18.2 RC is now official. The official release date will most likely happen next week on Monday, December the 9th. Stay tuned here to the channel because I'll be covering everything that's new within this software for Apple intelligent devices as well as non-Apple intelligent devices. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.